Hi Sagittarius, it's Jay from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading. Oh, sorry, I've just knocked the blinking camera. What the Fuck reading, 11th to the 17th of October. Also at the end, there's going to be a Halloween special. So once you've read, uh, done the What the Fuck, we're going to go straight into the Halloween special. Please like, share and subscribe if you like what I do on the channel. It is massively important to get the algorithms going. If you don't like what I do, hit the dislike button. It is all interaction. Um, leave me a message. Love to get messages from people. And we're going to get straight into the reading. We've got some new decks. This is the Shaman's Dream deck. It's absolutely beautiful. I've introduced, left off it on the table, but I've introduced this for October. So, darlings, you have got Eyes of the Eagle rising above the fray. Um, you're rising above what other people are doing. Oh, crikey. Dishing out to you. I don't know why this is not feeling very stable at the moment. Sorry, loves. Right. Rising above the fray. Um, people are dishing out some shit to you at the moment, Sag. You've just got to rise above it for the time. Look at it from a different perspective. Throw some light on it, see what needs to be done, and then just get on and do it. If it means you've got to cut some people out, you've got to cut them out. Um, but rising above the fray is is just... Um, when somebody's done for a fray, it's like a disturbance, disturbance of the pace. And I'm getting that people are disturbing your pace. Full stop. And that's the case, just rise above it, go above it. And it may be that somebody has got something going on that they are finding difficult themselves. It doesn't mean that they get the opportunity or the choice um, to take it out on other people. So just be aware of that. So let's get straight into your what the fuck reading. 11th to the 17th of October for Sagittarius, please. Started or what the fuck that does not surprise me. Okay, so facing fears and taking your power back. Your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, and why it may be fucked. Well, that's not fucked, is it? That's a nice card. So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, what you can do about this situation, what's out of your hands, the reconnecting to the true you, the outcome. Okay, darling, so what started the what the fuck for you? somebody somewhere is having their opinion about your choices you've already made your choice you're settling down to it you're quite happy with it and somebody else go go on have this one it's much better it's much better outcome much better for you and you're going no 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 i want this one and i want that one um don't stick stick to your gun tell this bugger this tell this person to bugger off tell them to fuck off it's it's honestly I, when I see this card, I get quite f frustrated because it comes out a lot, especially when people turn around and they go, whatever, because that's giving you power away. Don't do it whatever, Sage. Just say and keep saying it until they get the picture. This is the one I want. End of story. doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be an me. It can be anything. It can be the job that you want, the home that you want, the love that you want, um... I don't know, a stone from the garden that you want. It can be anything. Don't let other people make you make their choices because that becomes their choice and not your own. 
So lovely is facing your fears and taking your power back. You certainly done that, Sag, because here's the Four of Wands. It is a fire card. Um, and you're kind of throwing yourself into a relationship where you can have celebrations um, going forward. This is the um, card where a harvest has come in. These apples and pears, they've made cider. They're making merry. It's a party, engagement, wedding or anniversary. Um, whatever it is, it's to do with a couple. And that is making you stand in your power. And it is making you feel that you have faced your fears and taken that power back. And now you've got this celebration going on. So, darlings, your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked, it's not fucked. This is the craftsman. This is the seven of pentacles. This is your choices, your blessings. You can pick one, you can pick seven. It doesn't matter. It's a little bit of hard work going on, but you know that anything worth having is going to take a little bit of work to get it sorted out. But these choices that you're going to make are going to have a benefit around your home life, around your finances and your career. It could be that you're manifesting to go self-employed. Perhaps there's an idea or a thought that you've got that you really want to try out. Um, and it is with your own fair hand. This isn't something where you're going to buy loads of shit from some, some warehouse somewhere and set it on. This is going to be something, Sag, that you create. Now, loads of people create loads of sorts of things. doesn't have to be arts and crafts. It can be absolutely anything, but it is your creation. So, lovelies, your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be? You need to be resting. Oh, my God, you are just so busy. You haven't even got time to look out of that window. And it's kind of like this card is you're exhausted it's not just exhaustion physically, it's all of it. It's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual and sensual. When you are ready to drop that blanket, the moon is illuminating your way forward for you. And there's nine athames up there, which is telling me you have opportunities to cut out what no longer serves you and be able to pick yourself up when you are ready, when you're feeling less exhausted from the whole world, whatever that means for you. Once you've rested up, you will be able to then see what it is that you need to cut out and get rid of. Because there is, there's at least one person that you need to cut out and get rid of. At least one. So what you can do about this situation, there is somebody coming in towards you. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces with an apology, but they're not sure how it's going to be accepted. So their arm isn't extended out. It's kind of held back a bit. Um, but they're coming in with good intentions. I don't think that they're coming in with bad intentions. It's completely your own free will whether you accept this apology, this cup um, that is being offered to you as a way forward. Um, I just heard that this is not necessarily a physical thing. This could be a choice that somebody's trying to get you to make that isn't material. It is something that is quite emotional for you. Um, and the reason I've gone back is because they've told me to go back over it. So if this is somebody trying to force their emotions onto you and you're not ready to take that, if they're trying to force a way of life onto you that you don't want, honestly, sweep the decks clean, get rid of them because it is dragging you down. And that... You're tired enough as it is, but that is just exhausting. It's just exhausting. And once you've made the decision to drop that blanket and do some cutting out, watch the moon, um, look for the new moon, look for the, the full moon, and see where it's illuminating, I kind of get that this apology will come in. It's down to you whether you take it or not. Now, when I saw this card, what's out of your hands, I'm kind of getting that either this person is an earth sign which is Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, could be a boss, could be the head of your family. It is somebody who's been seen it, done it, they've bought in the contracts and now they're willing to help you out to start up your own business. However, there's been a holding back on this because I'm kind of getting that this person is watching what's going on and they're waiting for you to make your move to stand in your power so that they know that you mean business 
about your business. They really don't want to be wasting their time and their money um, if you are just going to follow what other people are guiding you to. And this person really knows that that isn't in your best interest, that you really do need the eye of the eagle and rise above the fray in order for this business person to come in and offer you this stability, this abundance that they are bringing towards you. Male or female, doesn't matter. It's either or. High Priestess, this is the reconnection to your true self. You know you're magical. You know you can step in those stones for protection. You know how to draw energy down from the moon. And you know how to add that magic ingredient to the pot just as when you need it. So, darlings, know that reconnecting to the true you is to reconnect to thinking um, completely differently to everybody else. Um, it's not a, it's non-traditional she's highly intuitive she's highly intelligent and that's what they're telling me about you you are highly intuitive highly intelligent you know what to do and when to do it you don't need a book to tell you what the outcome is going to be you know the outcome just by instinct so lovelies your outcome what the hell is happening next um what the hell what the fuck even three of wands Somebody just had this, didn't they? Or is that in the daily shorts? Can't remember now. The three of wands, you are waiting on this dock. Now, this ship can be coming in. It could be going out. You could be receiving goods. You could be sending goods. But there is a temptation for you to jump on that ship to go yourself. Or you're waiting for somebody to arrive. Um, this is to do with projects and plans. It is a waiting game at the moment. But not. I'm hearing... Not for long, not for long. It is going to work out for you. So love is at the bottom of the deck. What's hidden from you? You've got the Ten of Chalices. There's a completion around your family. Something is going to come round that you're going to be really pleased about. Uh, this could be an engagement or a marriage. It could be the starting of a family. It is highly emotive for you. And I'm kind of getting that you desperately want this. You want to either start a family or add to your family um but you really really are going to be quite surprised by this outcome um at the bottom of the deck because i think that's going to come from surprising quarters as well so this is the star seed deck and you have guidance you are not alone. You are guided by the masters and the teachers of the highest realms. How beautiful is that? So we're going to get straight in to your... Um... Oh, no, I haven't done the angels and ancestors. I do apologise. So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. The 11th to the 17th of... How did that fall out of there? Oh my goodness, Sag, that's you. Must have got caught up in the deck. I'm glad it's come out though. Wow, I just got a clear message about this. That although you're taking this rest, you don't want people to think that you are not standing in your power. Uh, massively standing in your power. You're everybody's best friend. But you're also everybody's worst fucking nightmare if they upset you. And you just want time to rest. You know what it is like to want a project or a plan um, to come together. So my lovelies, your first card that came out was Shapeshifter. To transform and unveil your gifts. Uh, what else came out? Oh, it was the Lord. Take charge with authority. You may be heading up a project or a plan at the moment. Drum, dream and journey and moon. Take note of intuitive messages. So that's part one done for you. Let's get some cards out for your Halloween reading. Now for those of you that don't know, I am a practicing witch. Um, people that are new to the channel probably won't know that. But Halloween is called Samhain for us. Um, 
and it is one of our biggest Sabbaths of the year. Um, we celebrate it with all the might that we can uh, muster because it's where the veil is the thinnest uh, between the two worlds, the spirit world and the physical world. And it's where we ask our ancestors to come join us in celebrations um, to look at the year that's gone past um, and the year ahead. And then after midnight on the 1st um, is our new year as well. Um, so yeah, we get two bites of the cherry. Go figure. Um, yeah, so yeah, massive for us. Um, and I know a lot of you really do enjoy the dressing up. And just for those who don't know, pumpkins, turnips or sweets, doesn't matter what it is that you um, carve. It does matter whether it's freehand. Uh, because that's your signature. We've got these little mini pumpkins in the uh, reading table. That is going to be my dinner. And I'm going to have pumpkin and squash soup um, on Halloween. So, yeah. So, as I was saying, the pumpkins, when you carve them freehand and you don't use a stencil or somebody else's idea, how you carve it is your signature for your ancestors to find you. Then when you light it, it sends out a signal. It's like a Belisha beacon. It sends out a signal and your ancestors can find you and they can come and celebrate the evening with you, which is wonderful. The veil is still in at the moment, so a lot of you that are... Um, in tune with the universe, in tune with the ancestors, you will be receiving an awful lot of downloads at the moment um, just because of the, of the type of type of year, the part of the year that we're currently in. So darlings, your Halloween reading, we're going to start off with your middle card. You have the nine of, oh my gosh, you got this twice. This is on your movement and journey, slightly different in this deck, the nine of air or the nine of a theme is in this deck, you are completely alike. Your aura is just beautiful. Your throat chakra needs some healing. So you are able to um, heal what it is that you want to say and make it clear. But you need to align your throat chakra with your heart chakra in order for that to come about. So that is your nine of air. As I said in the other thing, you're exhausted. You really do need that time out to kind of like regenerate your energy. And this is the same sort of thing. You need to regenerate your heart space and your throat chakra in order to have your say. So I'm coming down this line first and you have love. Now, darlings, this isn't the being in love necessarily. It definitely is the love of self. Because if you love yourself wholeheartedly, and you understand, if you could see yourself as this creature with this beautiful light radiating, and you could see the, your true beauty from within, you would never doubt yourself again on how beautiful you truly are, male or female. Um, but with this love, this is the purest type of love. This is the love that you have for self, that you then um, let that overspill to other people. And that's what makes you attractive. Your inner light shines, your aura shines, and that's what you give out to the world once you've got in tune with loving yourself. So, darlings... Do not stand in this energy for very long. It's the five of earth. Like the five of pentacles, there's a bit of trickery going on um, and somebody is being left um, in the cold and kind of left out of things, I'm going to say. This person doesn't give a shit. They don't give a shit that it's the, the trick of the hand or the flick of the hand that causes the trickery. Um, just be aware that that trickery is around you. And I'm hazarding a guess with the five of the famous and the five of earth, this is the same person. This is the same person. They do try to use illusion to cloud your judgment. You should not be sitting there in this energy. You shouldn't. 
you should be standing up and saying, "Hey, I'm not. To, I'm not. I'm not playing this game. Why do I need to play this game? This is your bullshit." I'll give it back to them. Eight of air. Darlings, you're bringing yourself into balance. You know what it's an emotion that is pure, and you you really do need. You know what it's like to be cut by a knife of somebody who is supposed to love you, and and it just goes pear shape. So you know what it's like to bleed. You know what it's like. You need to now bring that into balance. You use that knowledge and wisdom in order for you to bring your chakras into alignment and do the proper healing. This is communication from the universe, from your inner self, from your soul, telling you that your communication with the universe is really important. It is because you've got this one side where you are really in control and then you've got this other side where you're really not in control so know that the two sides are absolutely fine together but when one overtakes the other that's when there are issues and problems and the eight of a famous is like any other eight it is to do with um, communication making um, your thoughts and feelings absolutely clear um, to the point where you will cut yourself rather than hurt somebody else. That's what I'm getting. So coming down this side, from this one where the healing of the throat chakra takes place, you are offering out something from, from yourself, male or female, that is so precious, it is more precious than the pearls from the deepest parts of the ocean. It is absolutely precious what you are offering out be careful who you offer it out to you have the knowledge and the wisdom to know the difference between right and wrong this is almost theatrical what he's doing i know this knowledge and now i'm offering it out to other people um sometimes that knowledge comes from within sometimes it comes from books sometimes it comes just from a legacy of history um, know that you are not your history um, and you don't have to repeat history but it is good to pass on those lessons to other people so my darlings you have got integrity whatever you do however you do it whenever you do it make sure you are standing or sitting in your integrity you've got the alpha wisdom you have got the cheetah for speed you've got the running water um, for healing and you are laid bare male or female you are laid bare and that's what this is about being in your integrity be true to yourself my darlings and what's going to happen is a new beginning with the one of air this is thought processes going around in your head suddenly they will start to make sense and you will know when to cut away what to cut away and how to cut away some things just need pruning back um, to allow new growth to come in some things just need digging up and getting rid of um, completely to allow something new to come in sweep those decks and allow your new um, opportunities to come in towards you now we're going to use another new deck um, for your Halloween reading. This is the Oracle of Hidden Worlds. It is beautiful. We've had some lovely cards out of this. Thank you. So your oracle card, oh my god, this has come out so much. The gift, present, honouring and offering. Darling, the present, there's two ways of looking at that, isn't it? It could be in the present or it could be a gift as in the present. And what I'm getting is, is in the present, you are going to be getting a present from the universe, from nature. Um... And the gift that you are getting, you are going to be honouring 100% by offering something of yourself. 
back to the spirit realm, back to the universe, back to the earth. And it could be um, a thought, a feeling. It could be that simple or it could be that you are going to start thinking maybe even about next spring where you can sow seeds now to see the fruition of what you want for your future. The same with the garden that's out the back of your house. Your inner garden, your inner sanctuary, your soul also needs that tending. So know that there is a gift waiting for you and there is this honouring going on. And it's coming from the spirit realm, honouring you and understanding what it is that you want. Um, but you offering some, something back to make the universe realise that you really do mean business. It is a beautiful card. And I have to say, when you look at these two cards together, the love card and the most precious thing, you have such a lot to give spiritually, you really do. Um, but you still need to keep this in mind. And that is rise above the fray. Rise above what other people are dishing out to you. Sagittarius, that is your reading. What the fuck, 17th to the 11th to the 17th of October, and then your Halloween reading, wherever you are, lovelies. Please be safe, and I will catch you in next week's reading. Bye for now.